Hey there, this is Editor G. Apparently referring to surgical strikes too, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is speaking at Rajasthan has just said, Desh ko nahi chukne dunga. I will not allow the country to bend. Now, this is of course after that attack early this morning where Mirage 2000 planes belonging to the Indian Air Force crossed the line of control and hit a Jesh Muhammad training camp at Balakot. This is in Khyber Pakhtunwa, not the one in uh, Pakistan occupied Kashmir. So this is a very, very significant step. The first time that air power has actually been used across the line of control, I think since 1971. The only thing that is unclear so far at this present point is exactly how much damage was done and how many terrorists were actually killed there. The Indian side saying very clearly that there are reports that more than 200 terrorists have been killed. Pakistan, on the other hand, is not really saying where the attack has taken place and in fact seems to be saying there's been hardly any damage at all. Here's the latest that we know about what happened this morning. Surgical Strike 2.0, India has struck at the terror camps in Balakot across the line of control once again. Reports say that Air Force fighter jets dropped a thousand kilograms of bombs on a terror camp across the line of control. In an operation launched by a team of 12 Mirage fighters at 3.30 a.m. on Tuesday, Indian Air Force jets completely destroyed a major terror camp across the line of control. Foreign Ministry confirmed a pre-dawn Air Force strike at Jaish camp in Balakot across the line of control. Foreign Secretary Vijay Gokhale said that the Indian Air Force struck at the biggest Jaish camp in Balakot. He stressed that the preemptive strike was needed after intelligence that Jaish was planning more attacks after the Pulwama strike. In an intelligence-led operation in the early hours of today, India struck the biggest training camp of the Jaish Mohammed in Balakot. In this operation, a very large number of jaish e mohammed terrorists, trainers, senior commanders and groups of jihadis who were being trained for fidayan action were eliminated. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday hailed the Air Force for surgical strikes on Pakistan-based terror camp. The Prime Minister said that we must all pay respects to our brave soldiers, assuring people that the country is in safe hands. He vowed that he won't let the country down. सौगंध मुझे इस मिट्टी की मैं देश नहीं मिटने दूंगा मैं देश नहीं रुकने दूंगा मैं देश नहीं झुकने दूंगा Foreign Secretary Vijay Gokhale, who briefed media on a pre-dawn Air Force strike on terror camps across the line of control, said it was a preemptive strike needed after intelligence that Jaish was planning more attacks. He also said that the targeted camp was run by Jaish Chief Masood Asar's brother-in-law, Yusuf Azar. This facility at Balakot was headed by Maulana Yusuf Azar, alias Ustad Ghori, the brother-in-law of Masood Azar, Chief of the JEM. The government of India is firmly and resolutely committed to taking all necessary measures to fight the menace of terrorism. Hence, this non-military preemptive action was specifically targeted at the Jaish e Mohammed camp. Pakistan has reacted by saying that it is going to retaliate, although there also seems to be a slightly muted sense from the Pakistanis of what actually happened. Officially, the stance of the Pakistani government seems to be that there wasn't too much damage and that there wasn't a very deep incursion. That's the sort of a denial that we had seen after Surgical Strike 1 as well. 
asking the citizens of his country to be ready for any eventuality, Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan has called the Indian Air Force's strike on Jaish e Mohammed terror camp as fictitious. Imran, who chaired a meeting of the National Security Committee to review the situation, issued a statement which said his country will choose a time and place to respond. The Pakistan government has also called for a meeting of the National Command Authority and a joint session of the parliament. Politically, an all party meeting has been called for around 5 o'clock. But all political parties across the spectrum have come out in support of surgical strikes too. External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj has called an all-party meeting today at 5 p.m. in the wake of Air Force strike at terror camps across the line of control. Prime Minister Modi also briefed the President and Vice President on the surgical strike. The opposition has also hailed the Air Force for a daring strike on terror across the line of control. Rahul Gandhi saluted the Indian Air Force and West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee called the Indian Air Force India's amazing fighters. The country is celebrating as forces avenge the dastardly terror attack on CRPF convoy in Kashmir on February 14th. Air Force struck at the Balakot terror camp in Pakistan in a pre-dawn strike. People celebrated the forces' feat by bursting crackers and raising pro-forces slogans in several parts of the country. 